My name is Matt Polsdorf. I moved to San Francisco in June of 1980, exactly one year before um, AIDS was announced in 1981. Uh, I was a country bumpkin when <laughs> I came to San Francisco. I had just fallen off the turnip truck. I had, uh, from the East Coast, from Gainesville, Florida. I um, had never lived in a large city like San Francisco and certainly not uh, in uh, a city like San Francisco that had such a gay uh, population. Needless to say, it was a life-changing event, uh, probably one of the finest things I've ever done. So from 1980 until I was uh, diagnosed in uh, October of 1988, uh, it, was, it was magical, just, just truly magical. Uh, there's no other word for it. Uh, the things I, I experienced and the people I met from all over the world, people who shared my, we all shared the same uh, story as far as being, you know, uh, uh, gay and coming out. It was it was a, just a magical time. It really was something I, I cherish even now at, at, at 62. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I contracted HIV. I'm, I think it probably was through sex. Uh, it just was not, you know, really. Uh, I, I probably, probably got infected. Probably, probably 84, 85. I'm guessing. I really don't know. But definitely took the test in '88 and was found positive. I can remember. I took it down on 17th Street. There was there's a health, uh, city health, and the fellow that uh, that took me in and gave me the information about being positive was a fellow I knew and a fellow who I'd known intimately. Uh, I remember we sat down and it was like a Thursday evening and uh, he, he sat me down in a closed office, just him and I, and he uh, went through a, a printout and I had, they, back then they gave you numbers and uh, uh, he, I gave my number and he, he, he told me that I was HIV and he said he was sorry, and you know, it really, it really, and truly didn't hit me. You know what it all meant. I mean, I, you know, you know, I had never been sick before. I was totally healthy. Uh, uh, I was, you know, um, you know, a healthy 34 year old. I, I, I had never had any problems as a child. So I remember walking out. Uh, so he gave me the information, and I, I was by myself, and I remember walking down 17th Street to go home, and. Uh, you know, I'm not really knowing what 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 to you know what to expect, but uh, you know, it just it just I was kind of in a bewildered, I guess is the best word. And uh, I fortunately, uh, all these years, uh, uh, I've only had one incident where I had some kind of AIDS-related uh, a fever or sickness, and that was for about a week. I ran a very high temperature and broke out in all these little spots. It was very strange and had numbness in my legs. The doctors didn't know what it was. Uh, so I laid and it was it was around the time of, um, fast forward to 1994, and I remember laying there in bed, and it was when the, of all things, when the OJ, you know, chase was going on. I can remember laying there, and I was, I was soaked, and the bed was soaked. And I had a friend come who was kind of hanging, you know, watching me and hanging out with me and, you know, making sure I was keeping hydrated. And so that was that. And then, uh, fortunately, I recovered from that and, and shortly thereafter started the regi regi you know, regimen of drugs. But the thing about it is, the thing about it, not only that, uh, when I first came to the city, you know, like I said, it was, it was like the place to be. It was like the center of the world. It still is. And I had all these wonderful friends and, and, and some partners and, and just, you know, you know people I hung with, like, I, I, I'm going to say 25 or 30 people. Well, here I am now, you know, 28 years later, being HIV, and I'm the only one left. <laughs> Can you believe it? Talk about, you know, survivor's guilt. I don't really know what that means, but I'm the only one left out of about 30 people. And what a loss. What a terrible loss. What... What a just a wonderful, you know, group of, of, of folks, uh, and they're all gone. I have no so therefore, and I and I'm not boohooing, but you know, I have no no connection to the past, and and 
you know, and, you know, nobody to, to, you know, commiserate about the old days, you know, the fun old days, uh, into the future. So that, um, and it often, I often wonder why, you know, you know, and not again, it's about me, but I often wonder why, you know, um, you know, I, I'm here and they're all gone, but they are, they're gone, and, you know, partners and and folks that that died way too young um and and you know so that that's that's a big part of my story but on the other hand you know life goes on and you have to do what you do the best you can with your situation and fortunately um you know i know you know there are other great great areas in the country but san francisco for you know gay men who are sick is is the absolute the place you want to be if you can. Uh, I am I am in, in at 62. I am surrounded by uh, folks uh, now who've gotten to know me and know my story, uh, and other folks that, that uh, I share a similar story about you know being a survivor. Uh, I'm currently uh, one of the best finest things I've ever done in my life was. Uh, a health provider suggested that I might uh, enjoy uh, becoming world uh, you know, aff affiliated with the National AIDS Memorial Grove here in San Francisco in Golden Gate Park. And I got to tell you, it's 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 you know that I lost my family from the 80s, and fortunately, fortunately, uh, I've been able to uh, you know. Be, become part of this new family of survivors and you know, talk about just being grateful I mean it goes without saying uh, uh, you know I, I, I would hate to be you know a lonely old gay man at 62 without any support but I, that's not the case I have people in my life who who are just phenomenal and we all share you know the loss of AIDS and, and folks that we loved and you know, the, you know, several of my friends now are similar in age, and you know we're grateful to be here. I know I'm grateful to be here. If it wasn't for, you know, all the great doctors, Dr. Fauci and 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 folks like that, and and all the other ones that I I, I don't I don't name here. I mean, I'm so internally grateful uh, for the medications I I take. You know, six or eight pills in the morning, uh, or seven actually seven pills in the morning, and I think six or seven at night. And here I am still, uh, for the most part, um, you know, my HIV is, is undetectable and, and I'm able to, you know, work in Golden Gate Park, which is an awesome, awesome thing. Um, you know, back in the old days, I, when I started the regimen, I think I was taking in the morning 16 pills. Well, for somebody who was never sick before in their life to suddenly have to dark, it was, it was difficult. But, you know, I'm here and I am and truly grateful. In closing, I don't know what the, what I'm trying to say here is that, um, you know, love your friends, you know, stick by them. Um, I hope this. I hope, you know, I hope that there's never anything like AIDS again. That just took took some of the most brightest, most beautiful, loving, funny, caring people, uh, and took them from it. It took them from us. Um, but I think they'd be happy in the fact that you know as a community, the gay community, you know, we pull together and, and we look after our own and, and, and anybody else who needs looking after. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. And I'm eternally grateful at this stage of life at 62 to be able to give back. You know, um, you know, back in the early days, it was the wild, wild west. Well, now that, you know, you know, it's a kind of, a, you know, people help me along the way. And now uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to give back. You know, that's a kind of a kind of a saying that people use but it's a truth it, and uh, I, uh, I, 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 I you know I volunteer quite a bit and I'm just grateful for that so thank you for this opportunity for sharing a little bit of my story um, this is a great a great uh, experience it's important and I hope that you know future generations will, will look at this and and know that it's important to look after one another and to love one another and you know to to promote peace and 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 to watch out for one another. So thank you very much. Uh, this has been awesome, and I truly truly appreciate it.